But anyway, we'll get into this asshole Darren O'Toole next, who's just obsessed with uh, us and, in general, and me particularly for yeah. some reason, because I have red hair like her. That's why she fucking is obsessed with me. <laughs> we never even met this girl. And by the way, my hair is more blonde than red, you fucking whore. <laughs> Jesus Christ, though. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this was on a, a radio website. I've never met this chick, and she's saying some pretty fucked up shit about me. We'll uh, get into that next and uh, other things. It's open. Other up. things. We're going after the Darian O'Toole in a second here. They're just uh, yeah. going over the fucking interview she gave and, like, kind of went after me, and I've never met her, so why are you... I don't know. Whatever. We'll get into it in a few minutes. Never even met the brud. All right. Where's that uh, Darian O'Toole crap? This fucking broad, man. They brought her into New York back in the day. Let me tell you something about this broad. They brought her into New York City to be the female Howard Stern mm -hmm. on New York radio. She was advertised as the big female Howard Stern. And she lasted a mere few months. Yep. She got her ass kicked. And uh, she's been in communique with our own E-Rock, because E-Rock has to talk to all the radio people. Why is that? And she's been claiming that she's like. <laughs> that just, I thought I thought that was an order, but it's, it's no, like he, something he just likes to do. And she she uh, she was claiming that she was going to be. In, this is what she's claimed recently, right? Yeah. And dude, if it's bullshit, you gotta tell me because I don't feel like getting sued. No. She has claimed that she's going to be on the View. Mm -hmm. That never happened. December fourth. Wait, wait. She's oh, now coming it's December fourth. December fourth. She's coming into New York City. Well, and what happened the last time she was supposed to do the View? She wouldn't explain other than her trip was delayed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's also uh, claiming that she was going to be uh, replacing us in Philly. Right. <laughs> but then that turned into she was going to be taking afternoons at YSP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's out of her fucking mind, in my humble opinion. And she claimed that um, Bobby Eatman was representing her, and then she sent me a message a few days later that uh, Bob didn't have time to represent her. Ah. So he dropped her. Yeah, that was it. So I guess she did this 10 questions thing on uh, one of the websites, and she talks about Ant and I a lot, and me in particular for some reason, and I've never met this broad. Never met her. Never met the broad. So uh, just some highlights from this fucked up interview. Mornings in New York at Q104 followed great ex Okay, she comes to New York to do Q104. Okay, I get it. Uh, great experience, but it was an ill-conceived station at the time. It's stupid, stupid publicity. I literally got off the plane and walked by my mug on the cover of a magazine that said the female Howard Stern has arrived. What well, magazine was she on? Is she insane? Probably like Stepping Out or, or one of those free ones, but <laughs> Stepping Out. Is this the new queen of all media? Dumb move on management's part. Why? Well, that's how she was pretty much billing herself. That's what I'm. Yeah, she had. Yeah, she was in on those fucking like meetings before she decided to do this. You don't attack the best talent on the planet on the first day. You sneak up on them. Needless to say, it didn't work despite some of my best work. And he crushed me with one swat of his paw. <laughs> <laughs> So then they get into the 10 questions, right? What do you do to maintain a positive mental attitude and stay motivated? Motivation has never been a problem for me. I'm a woman on a mission. Mediocrity irritates the crap out of me. And long before the secret stated the obvious, I understood the law of attraction. Huh? Whatever I put out, I get back. When I'm a bitch, I get in shit. When I'm positive and well-behaved, I win. It's not like I need an anvil to fall on my head. I'm not the road runner. Just follow the basic tenets of quantum physics and you'll be all good. The anvil, by the way, never fell on the road runner's head. No. The, the coyote, coyote usually missed horribly. Yeah. And the road runner ran off at high speed. Yeah. And usually the coyote yeah. would wind up getting an anvil on his head somehow. Right. Well, he would actually He'd, fall on something. It would flip off. And flip back and hit, and hit him on the head. So she's wrong on that count. And then around seven lumps would pop up. Right. And he'd take a little hammer and go and hammer them back into his head. Thank you. Uh, continue. Well, uh, this brings up a fine, fine... Um, she talks about mediocrity, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we got audio of her... Uh, or show you can say we got mediocrity. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in Norton's chair. 
I well, need to smash know. myself. Sleepyocrity. I'm, gl- I'm glad you said it because we're all worth thinking. What are we going to do? I'm we, have, we have cornered the market on mediocrity. Listen, I'm filling in and I know it. <laughs> I'm going to keep this seat warm for Norton's little ass. You're filling out. <laughs> That's funny because you're a fat. Yeah, <laughs> we got it. You have Jesus. tits. Oh, my goodness. I don't have tits. Yes, you have tits. Look. You know what That's sucks what I about you? Straight. I don't like that he smashes me and cracks up, but you give him All one right. little nick, and he goes, I don't have tits. I do, though. All right, there you go. I work hard on him. <laughs> that was hurtful. All right, back to the con. That was hurtful. See, it's not fun. I, I learned my lesson. <laughs> it's, not, it's not fun to be hurt. And I apologize. Words hurt. Words do hurt. I apologize <laughs> to you, fatty. <laughs> All right, beak up. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Touche, my friend. All right, so here's Darian O'Toole doing her show in San Francisco. Mediocrity. Remember, she said mediocrity. Yes. She hates mediocrity. Mm-hmm. Listen to this terrific radio. All right, David Tell is coming up in a few minutes. That's <laughs> going to be fun. Dave, even I'm afraid of Dave. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Dave is, Dave is hilarious. Uh, triple eight five hundred one zero six nine, three FM. All right, but now Tom Cruise, come on, Tom Cruise. Hey, he does. He cares. I don't know. Like, is the Jennifer Aniston thing? Like, is it all? Is it all a roost? Is she on heroin? Dude, wait a minute. Is she on heroin? Is, is she drunk in that? Is she stoned? Is she on heroin? I love the pun. Is she, what is? What Did is? She just get mouth surgery. What is? I love the. <laughs> I love. She the, had a tooth pulled. <laughs> I love the part. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought it was a montage of clips just smacked no, together. No, no, this no. is one stream of unconsciousness. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Break. Davis. Davis. Hilarious. Triple eight five one zero six nine. Free FM. All right, but now Tom Cruise, come on, Tom Cruise, hey, he does, he cares. <laughs> Tom Cruise, he does, he cares. How many people? Uh, I love you, but you're yeah. such a fuck. <laughs> we've all heard that voice. We've all heard that voice. We've we've done uh, that voice. That's the bar at the end of the night voice. I, I, I had a friend here a minute ago. I, 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 Drink I, your roofie and shut up. I, said, I, said, I, I don't know if I drive. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I don't want to blow you. I don't want to touch you. All right, I'll touch you, but I'm not going to kiss you. I'm not going to kiss you. I don't think they're going to tell you. I don't know. Who cares? She hates mediocrity. All right, we got to go backwards now. Making me hide my boobs for the rest Aww. of the show. Aw. Nine. Free FM. All right, but now Tom Cruise. Come on, Tom Cruise. Hey, he does. He cares. I love that. Tom Cruise. He cares. He cares. Uh, Go. Five hundred one six nine. All right, but now Tom Cruise. What's that? Come on, Tom Cruise. Hey, he does. He cares. <laughs> I love that. I can't get past that. <laughs> there are things we do on the show, and you just can't get past it. I gotta do it another five times. <laughs> five times. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What are you making? I want to have boobies. I'm gonna have boobs too. <laughs> but that would make fun of me. No, I'm making fun of Bobby. Yeah. Making that. fun of me. I said he said he had boobs. Bobby's got boobies. No, don't try to switch you it do. up. You do. Stick up for what you originally did. You you're making fun of me. You're my making fun of Hope. No. Are you? Would you have boobs like this? Oh, yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> if I could. I would leave the house. Who are you kidding? <laughs> I'd be <laughs> still. I'd be killing myself up all day long. Be jerking off of my own chest. <laughs> <Right. laughs> all right. Tom Cruise. Is he really <laughs> Tom Cruise? <laughs> Listen to this again. 3 FM. Here we go. All right. Again. But now Tom Cruise. Come on, Tom Cruise. He does. He cares. <laughs> I don't know. Like, is the Jennifer Aniston thing? Like, is it all? Is it all a ruse, or is it? Like, Bruce? is it planned? What do you think? Triple eight five hundred one zero six nine. If anyone's 
If oh. anyone was wondering why Katie Holmes would take a 14-hour plane trip to Australia last week, Australia. Well, seven and a half months pregnant, just to attend the funeral of a it's man she never swig. met, <laughs> this is, the answer would probably just I'm just guessing because oh, my fiance is a psycho. I can't. I'm think. just saying, not I, I'm not judging, just saying. Right. Triple eight five hundred one zero six nine. Oh my God! I know that it sounds <laughs> like she's drinking <laughs> as she's talking. I like would, she's sucking on a bad tooth. Oh, <laughs> that's what it sounds like. She has a rotten tooth that she keeps sucking on. I'd rather watch Martha Stewart for twelve hours than this twat. She's having a tool wiser. <laughs> she, she keeps drinking, but I, uh, she says she hates mediocrity. Uh, yeah. It's not mediocrity. She's really drunk. I know that it is part of her new religion. Uh, he says that you can't have sex with your husband. You like you're until you're you give birth. You are you are untouchable. You can't have sex until you give birth. Oh, not the first time. Sorry. Star Magazine says that Carrie, Katie promised her parents that she wouldn't attend the funeral of Carrie Packer with fiancé Tom for the obvious health <laughs> risk involved for the baby. So, you know, pregnancy. I, uh, I don't even pregnancy. know who that guy is. Who is um, Carrie Packer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, this is are a you train wreck. I would listen to this every day. See, that's this, the difference. Oh, Bobby. that's a train this wreck. This is the shit where uh, if I was a PD, I'd be like, wow, she's just fucked just up. Just drink make, more. Make sure she fucking <laughs> talks the entire show. That's what I would do as a PD. She is a fucking mess. Uh, she's so crazy. Fucking pauses you can drive a truck through. Holy shit. No. She talks like Christopher Walken. <laughs> oh. Give it a watch. Carrie Packer. Anybody you know? Huh? Carrie Packer, you said? Yeah, Carrie Packer. No idea. Hmm. I'll uh, I'll Google him. I'll Google him and we'll figure this out. My guess is someone she dated, but it's like it's gotten weird. It's definitely gotten weird. It's really creepy. She's sleeping the down the street from him. Tom needs to have a <laughs> Come on. Come on. Who's adding those pauses Dude, then? This is, this Come is on. Real. That cannot this possibly be like that. But she's going to talk about our, our uh, her mediocrity in radio, not our. It does sound like paradise. <laughs> that was like this. Oh, my Tom Cruise. You guys. Oh, my tits are scarred. This is something like You guys, that's I just want to <laughs> do, you, do you plan on sticking with the music radio industry? Uh, hell yes. The entertainment industry is the only place to make any sense. And an audience is as necessary to me as oxygen. There's zero and chance booze. that I'm going to shut up anytime soon. Can you imagine? Except while you're doing your show, yeah. you get your dead air pauses. And, and, then, she, and then she writes, can you, uh, can you imagine me in mainstream America? Never going to happen. The twisted labyrinth of lunacy that is Darian Mind is sort of like parts of... Sort of like parts of horror. You should never go in alone, especially at night. And don't get lost in there because it can be just plain scary. You're not that mysterious twat. Shut up. You got a red bush. Oh Christ! <laughs> oh, the whole thing that is Darian. What's the craziest thing you've ever done to get a job? Please, I'm 18 shades of crazy. How to pick? My all type. 18 best. shades of crazy. Oh, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> How to pick. My all-time best was in San Francisco at Big. The PD wasn't listening to any of the tapes I sent, so I befriended the very gay and very funny receptionist and realized the bathroom was in the hall. I knew Jerry McCracken, love him, would have to pee eventually and had no escape route, so I planted my butt in the lobby for eight hours, accosted him, and got that gig that day. Sure you did. That's how it happens. Uh, what's the next job you'd like to obtain? Uh, how do you say uh, this M-word? M A L E. Mal mal let me see. Malevolent. Malevolent. Mal mal malevolent. Malevolent director of the universe. I'm a shoe in. That was her answer. Oh, ha ha! I get it. Hmm. Boy, she sure thinks a lot of herself. How about she do a show without fucking being hammered? 
That might help. <laughs> she's not even ham. She's, she's drunk and so. <sighs> What's the most unbelievable question you ever been asked in an interview? Is this something about Tom Cruise? She writes, uh, it wasn't during an interview. As a rule, no one really gets a word in during that process. Really? Oh, you really? get a lot of words in by fucking <laughs> doing a radio show with you. But I did have a consultant in New York who asked me if I could dumb down a little and use smaller words with my sexiest delivery. As I recall, I threw a paperweight through his office window and made up really long fake words to mess with his empty head. Never happened. Never happened. She wants this legend to follow her like she does this shit. Never happened. Well, she finally gets to us in a second here, but let's listen to more. Of her a little more. On the radio. Great from him. Tom needs to have Are a you? little more <laughs> No way. I heard golfing. Like a walking uterus to make obedient clones for Zenu. I'm just saying. Jennifer Aniston in love. Jennifer, uh, friends of Jennifer Aniston, say that she and Vince Vaughn spent Valentine's Day together. And they thought it would be the moment when Vince proposed to her. Didn't happen. <laughs> Didn't exactly happen. Triple eight five hundred one zero six nine. Dustin, you're on the air with Darian on one zero six nine free FM. Hello. Someone call around and be yeah. drunk. Um, I just want to say, who cares about celebrities' lives? I don't understand why people spend so much time getting rumors and who said what. Does anyone ask her why she sounds a fucking it's intoxicated? It's, it's on the front of like every David paper. Tell when he finally comes yeah, in. and that's what I'm saying. Is yeah. I don't understand yeah. why people like already. that. I don't remember. An amnesia. I just don't understand where, like, where, what they're targeting or who they're targeting or why these people are so involved in it. Who cares? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was that was really all I wanted to say. <laughs> she just leaves them hanging. By people would get all involved in this. So how is your relationship? <laughs> what? What does that? Yeah. What? Oh, she's fucking. No, no, no. She's from Mars. I have a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you ever go through this kind of drama? Oh my Do god. Do I ever what? Do you ever go through this kind of drama? I don't know what this kind of drama is. It is an effort for her to Any speak. Any kind of drama. Like, uh, you know, not married or I want to be a dad or whatever. Like, whatever drama I mean, comes. Of course, relate, I mean, I guess you're trying to compare my relationship with celebrities and that's why people are interested. No. Okay. <laughs> She's like, okay, good. Thanks. You, you made Appreciate me make sense. Call. Have a good day. I'll hang up on you. Uh, Daniel in Concord, you're on the way with uh, Darren O'Toole, 1069, Free FM. Hey, Darian. Hi. It's been a while since I called in. Well, welcome. Yeah, and I'd like to say that Tom Cruise has gotten a creepy. He has, right? It's gotten <laughs> weird. He has. There's something creepy about him. Yes. <laughs> Tom Cruise has gotten really creepy. He really has. <laughs> I can't believe it's too creepy. <laughs> So fucking creepy. I think there's a monster outside. You're gonna wake him up. <laughs> He's out right in the front. How's your creepy? <laughs> right. What an ass. It's, it's all the drama. <laughs> if you can't handle your booze on the air, don't fucking drink. That's what I say. <laughs> if you can, let it fly. It has, right? It's gotten weird. Yeah. Like you said one time about him, he's gotten kind of like Jim Jones. <laughs> I totally agree with you there. <laughs> yeah, and then he got a little weird. Uh, uh, gotta be. Uh, uh, Come on, how did she? Yes. Yeah, so did she get fired after like this? A, yeah, I don't oh, know. Oh, okay. Some kind Good. Of weird. Wow. Sort of cult guy. Yeah. Guys need. Serious help. All right, thank you, Colette. Well, you're you. on the air with Darian on 106.9 FM. You, FM. Colette. Oh, hi, Darian. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I didn't know I was on the air. Um, I was just calling to say hello, and I am um, a fairly new listener. Mm -hmm. But um, I was calling to find out: Are you feeling okay today? You sound a little out of it. <laughs> no, I'm just like disgusted by the absolute stupidity of people. Oh, yourself? Yeah, I mean, I, I read the tabloids and follow all this stuff, and I'm not quite sure what's going on with, you know, Katie Holmes and uh, Tom Cruise. I think it's kind of bizarre, and they're kind of bizarre. 
but um, but anyways, I was just sitting here at my desk listening to you, and I just you just sounded a little odd today, so I just wanted to call and see how you were feeling and and all that. Drunk. So it's okay to be strong and opinionated and mean. <laughs> what? It's a good thing. For for who? For me to be that way? For me. Oh, for you. Yeah. Oh, no, I just, I just, I've been w- listening to you, but today, like I said, you just sound a little odd. You kind of sound a little slow on your comeback, so I was just, <laughs> I don't know. Just say you drunk. Know how you were today. No, that's sweet. Okay. No, I'm just a mellow. Okay. I'm mellow. Okay, no, good. I'll, we'll fix that soon. Okay. All right, okay. thanks. Ten oh nine oh one oh six nine three. Maybe a little coke here. or something. That might, that might help. <laughs> uh, uh, always worked for me. <laughs> She's going to go to the old chemistry kit. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, everyone's saying I'm mellow. Well, I it's like cure for that. That is hysterical. The woman's calling her out on being drunk, and she's like, well, a strong opinionated woman. <laughs> I'm so are you talking about me? Are you talking about me? What happens when you get drunk? Do you just like forget to breathe when you're talking and just run out? You just run out of air. I don't know. Try to make one. Thank you, Cola. Try to make five words into one. How is your How is your slow response and delivery, Colette? You fucking whore. <laughs> and another stupid PD fired her, man. I would listen to this every oh. fucking... I would lose a job because I would be listening so much. <laughs> okay. All, All right, right, thanks. Thank you. 1009 Free FM. David Tell is here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> hey, Dave. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing okay. Glad to be here. Working out in San Jose. San Jose. Someone just accused me of being slow, and I was like trying to be so mellow because I thought, because you know, I knew you were coming in. To be, why would you want to be mellow? For I know. I was trying to like. <laughs> oh my God! What is she? She's trying. Yeah, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Exactly. I was trying to set the pace. But, you know. <laughs> That's probably the PD. <laughs> No, she's yeah, she's calling out she's somehow. Calling out by accident. <laughs> she's calling out. I just want to be mellow for you, and it's like, yeah, why would you want to be mellow Phones for me? Phones are ringing. Oh, <laughs> bring. What's the phone is ringing? What's this button do? Who's that? I'm calling. No, she, she's calling her drug dealer. <laughs> Radio joke. I have no fucking idea if you're stone. Relax, you bitch. Hello, friend. I know. It's trying to like. <laughs> Be the, uh, I, I see what you're saying. Exactly. I was trying to set the pace, but you what? know. It's if you'd a... like to make a call, oh. uh, who knows? Are we ordering a pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I like what you've done with the studio. You love it? Yeah. It's pretty, right? It has kind of an outpatient feel. There's like one poster <laughs> on the wall and a TV that's not working. And booze bottles strewn all over. I like it. What's up, man? Cool, man. Welcome, David Dell. Thank you. Oh, right. my God. So what's going on with you, Mr. Um, Mr. I'm doing, Bad? I'm doing some... Uh, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Bad? <laughs> no. fucking funny. Oh, God, this Listen. drunk is trying to do a... a can we interview. play this at 11? Because we did this bit, because there's like literally another 30 minutes of her her audio. Holy shit, really? Can you really? find the bit when we did it originally? Yeah, All right, because, yeah, I mean, I... Instead of redoing the whole thing, we went over this whole air check a while ago. God, I love it. Because, you know, we got about another minute left on this track, and then we'll read what uh, she said about us in this dumb interview. And then, uh, oh, is that fucking funny? All right, here, here, we'll go back. Um, I'm, doing, I'm doing some uh, road work right now. That's what we call it in the comedy biz. Heading uh, from San Jose to Sac Town, Sacramento. Mm, I'm on my way back down to L.A., you know, and uh, got some things in the works, I guess that's what people say. But mostly just uh, doing my comedy. What do you think? I think you're crazy. Am I? Mm-hmm. How's that Red Bull? Is that your morning? Uh, mm-hmm. That's it? I don't take coffee, I know. Why not? I don't know. It's a thing. It's a thing with me. Coffee does nothing. You Red live Bull. in the best Light. coffee town outside of Seattle. I know, right? I think the coffee here is so good. Know, it's right? like mother's milk. Can you play Misty for me? He's trying to sneak in jokes. Uh, Dave's, Dave's like, trying, and he's yeah, looking at somebody good. who's just unresponsive. Unresponsive. 
Have to break at 11 to get it in? Ah, oh, man. Uh, yeah, shit. You sure? Yeah. Why? Because of, of other breaks and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be good in it. It's not in my character. Guys, it's a show. It really was. It's not as... I understand. Can we just, just do a, uh, when we break? Can we do a really short break and that'll be more minutes? Than we <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Iraq, 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 Mr. Man! Iraq. Is there a way we can just We need localizers on this show. And we need people to call us out of nowhere and just go, Mr. Man! Just try to just work. blurted that Some, the fuck out. Sometime tomorrow on the show, just try to work in a Mr. Mr. Man! Oh. Be our little inside joke. All right, well, uh, well, we might have to play it tomorrow or something because we still got a little radio to do. Yeah, vodka doesn't go Remind good with us. coffee. Yeah. That's what people are saying. That's why she doesn't like coffee. Because we did like, I think we did an hour and a half. Oh, well, you cut it down to forty minutes, I guess. Forty minutes on this. Yeah. So uh, I, I, there's two other tracks I do want to play. These are short ones. A guy is calling, going, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" Hey, uh, Dave, what's going on with Darian? She look wasted or what? Uh, she just seems to be deep in thought. I, I thought it was about the Olympics. It's not. She's got two Red Bulls in front of her. Yeah, I know. And um, <laughs> what? whenever she's on, I wish you would share because I could use a calming influence. Are you yeah, on no, what it's... fisherman friend? What, what are you? What are you? I know nothing. That's the sad thing. Oh, like, her man's she... going to. Le Where is he going? Tahoe. Oh, he's going to Tahoe. He's yeah. going to Tahoe this week. Maybe I'm just going through loneliness. She's already lonely, and he Maybe has to laugh. Feel sorry for me because I'm going to be lonely. Well, listen, Miss Needy, it's time for you to. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff you can do. This is San Francisco. <laughs> Can't true. you pick at something? Or... Oh yeah. Make someone else's life a little harder. Hell yeah. There's homeless people to watch. Let's go out tonight and scrub a few down. What I'm do you fine. need? Woo! Uh, she right. just Thank woos. you. Woo! <laughs> when in doubt, woo! Uh, Mr. 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 Man. Mr. Man. This is <laughs> Yeah, we need to fix this. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous? Ridiculous. What? Ridiculous. Triple eight five hundred one zero six nine. But come on. These lunatics are running wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's an issue. Let's take care of it. We have lots more to make fun of. Oh my God! We've got comedian David Tell coming up. Fun. Uh, substitute teacher. He left as a man, he came back as a woman. All hell broke loose. I, I don't think it's fair. Gilbert Gottfried? Say no more. College student that loves to make porn on their own. And an SF doctor uh, working without a license. Oh, yeah, we've got some fun. We've got some fun coming up here. We've got some fun, we've got some controversy, we've got it all. 10 to 2. Gary O'Toole Show, 106.9, 3 FM. Uh, oh my God! I have something else, but whatever. She's just well, reading her prep sheet verbatim. Well, this is like, yeah. This is about another easily 20 minutes of this. We'll play uh, as a replay very soon in the 11 o'clock hour this week. Hopefully, maybe. Hopefully tomorrow. Go she just get thrown off. <laughs> Somebody come in and just put her, put her ass off the air. But I just so much. He sounds like Dudley Moore. Oh, are you a? <laughs> I must have hated this job. <laughs> 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 this moves must have really pissed you off. <laughs> we got uh, Randy in Jersey. Randy. Hey, Paris, why? What's up, boys? Hey. <laughs> this chick sounds like Frankie Blue. Oh, oh Frankie Blue is another great one. We got, Frankie Blue shows. Frankie Blue. We got Frankie Blue. <laughs> this yeah. fucking guy was a legendary PD. Legendary. I mean, he was like a big fucking shot in New York radio. And he fired some chick after the Christmas party. Then he had to go on the air, and he was completely hammered. Yeah, so got he got fired, fight. and he hasn't been heard from since. Frankie Blue, that tape is one of my favorites. Anyway, uh, Erock, get back in here, because Erock's been in contact with her. <laughs> Don't you hate Perry's wife? <laughs> That's the funniest line ever. Um, I have a gun, and you may have fired it while you were yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Darren O'Toole, so she has this interview, t these 10 questions, and for some reason she's obsessed with us. 
You, mostly. Why? Well. Because I have red fucking hair, but it's more like blonde than red. It is sandy. <laughs> it's very sandy, Elfie. Yeah. She made... Yeah. 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 I think it's sandy, Elfie. Triple H, man. 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 I'll take your calls. I don't all the time. I don't understand. Oh, David, tell your hedge. All right, here we go. So she writes, she writes, uh, I love Danny Bonaducci. No one could uh, work a room like him. He's a force of nature and one of a handful of people who has the same frenetic energy as me. I think O and A are incredibly talented, although they seem to be suffering from Darian disease lately. What's Darian disease? I don't come in. I don't come in wasted. <laughs> uh, the daring of old, that is, not the new and improved lemon fresh dot. Oh, dot? Darian O'Toole? Yeah. Ugh. And then she writes, we were all in the trenches together in New York. Weren't. Uh, first of all, we've been on New York Radio for over ten years. You were on New York Radio for four months. <laughs> yeah, Go a fuck yourself. There's a difference there. And you were on for a couple of months while we were just starting out here. But I was on the trenches. We were in the trenches. I was the trenches. I was. I have radio. You have radio. The war just started. I just got shot. Yeah, I was on the first out of the trenches. I was the first and, casualty. And, and the, someone blew my head off. <laughs> We say you, Mr. Mr. Man. Mr. Man. Back on back. Oh, the trenches. <laughs> Mr. Man. <laughs> what a tool. Reason one. Uh, Dot. 189. Why I hate this business. People <laughs> like this. Uh, we're, all, we're all in the trenches together in New York, and I have mad love for Ope and Danny. Never met the broad. Don't know the first thing about her. I just mad air, love. Air check. Yes, he rocks. She's, um, she had stated to me once that... Um, she used to hotline your show when you were at NEW. She was doing mornings at Q. And you guys used to talk about um, things going on with Howard and internal goings on at Clear Channel. Where Another she was. Another lo load of bullshit. What is she talking about? What the fuck? She hot I've never hotlined. We never talked to it, her. It didn't make sense, but this was a long time ago she told me this. She's that she delusional, used to, man. She used to call you guys, and you guys would swap insider she info. She us? <laughs> I think it was low pleasure too. I wanna go home. I think I wanna go home. Let's come in and low pleasure. I'm setting the mood for David Jones. Be in my tiny ladies. Around. She called us. You mean us? How come we could just do this all day? It's so much fun. This is fun. Can you pass me a low pleasure? Low pleasure. Mm. Yeah. What are you What are you showing people, Iraq? This is a. What is this here for Anthony? Yeah. Oh. That was um a recent text. She's she lately she's been telling me um information she hears that she talks to all these CBS execs mm -hmm. about how they don't like you guys in the mm -hmm. show, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden I start getting texts that are just gibberish. Mm -hmm. And when I call her out, I'm like, Are Are you on something? Are you drunk? She gets all mad and defensive, and then you don't hear from her for a few days. Then out of the blue, she starts saying, so I hear I'm in shit with Opie and Anthony. I hadn't heard I, from I, her in three, I, four days. I have no idea that she's alive until today. Until you started telling me about this shit, actually. Give a fuck about her. What the hell is this, Ira? It's gibberish. gibberish. That's how she writes back. Oh. She can't even get the keys right. Yeah, that isn't even... I'm trying to... What, I like how you have to write, what are you talking about? I'm trying to write, man. <laughs> I'm trying to text, man, and... And it comes out to you, TV, S. I don't know how to text it. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's the buttons with letters on them, and the pushing, and I think I'm making worse. But they, they don't come out of that. That's the words that come out of gibberish. <laughs> gibberish. Uh, I just felt Steve's hot, sick breath on my neck. Ah, yeah. oh, right. fever breath. Let's He's probably got fever balls down yeah. to his knees. I actually like, felt him. Big behind Turkish me. taffy nuts. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, melted taffy. 
So we're all in the trenches together in New York, and I have mad love for Open Danny. I consider the three of us the redheaded trifecta of great radio. Yeah. Oh, wow. How does that feel, being lumped Man. into the likes of that? Darren O'Toole lasted four months. Danny might have done a year in town. Yeah, maybe. maybe. I don't even know. It's about a year. But why he insists on biting the hand that feeds him is beyond me. <laughs> Greg, she's got to use my real name with two G's to show that she knows a little bit about me. Greg. Is one of the smartest, funniest people in the business, but like anyone with huge talent, he could be a narcissistic <laughs> jerk, hell-bent on self-destruction. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Danny and I have that in common as well, but Danny had the good sense to commit his mistakes on camera, and I had... But I was Good drunk sense. and didn't know what. No, I was naked working for me. Ope's just being a dick, and I'm not shy about saying that to his face. Well, it's not. Get true. her on the phone. She's in town next week. If you want to have her in studio. She's in town. Have her come in. Have her come in. Tell her we have plenty of vodka and Red Bull if she wants it. You can have her and Patty just slap each other in the face. Why would they be his anatomy. Can you call her right now? Because I want to invite her personally to okay. be on our radio show. Yeah. Why wait till that next week? Dummy on the phone. Have fun today. Get that dummy on the phone. Uh, CBS is an amazing company, in my opinion, and doesn't deserve the headaches O and A are causing them. I swear the execs on West 57th must have Valiums the size of footballs and nitrous tanks to put up with our crap. Our crap. Our crap. She what is she part of this radio show? No. Darian? I swear to God. Are you in here? Look, I swear it says Where's, our crap. Where's But she was talking about us. She's just gotten a little heavier and she has a goatee now. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought that was Bobby Kelly the whole time. It's Darian O'Toole. Oh, it's me, Anthony. How are you? I like the way you do your hair. Not only do they put up with me, they encouraged and fostered my unique um <clears throat> What? She did right. Uh -huh. Style of radio. <laughs> Free FM was far and away the best gig I ever had, and it's, and it's no one's fault but mine that I lost it. Although I think SF, San Francisco, was the first one to self-implode. They're an oldie station now. Oh, the humanity. It's a travesty. Uh, oh. Get her on the phone. We are trying, right? What's the deal? Uh, are you going to get her on the phone right now? Right now. <laughs> oh, voicemail? Yeah. Voicemail. Well, text her. You text her. She'll answer. Nah, uh, she's one of these people that'll say in print, I'm not scared to say it to their face. And, then and it, it's I not say to, to my the face. face. Uh, Oops. That isn't to the face. Don't answer the phone. So, there's the... Uh, now, you, up. you've never met this girl ever. Ah, <laughs> not once. Never spoke to her. Never met her. Mm. A dunce. A problem? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Problem, 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 mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's all a Rusi. No. A no. Rusi. A clever Rusi. No a Rusi. problem. She said no ah, Rusi. So we can't get her on the phone? Rusty. David tells the sober one in the room you're in trouble. Yeah, right? It's like, wow, you're pretty fucked up. Oh, let me, uh, well, I'm trying to do some shit. set in the mood. I figured I'd keep it mellow. Wait, let me you're dead. Uh, we could just give you a little more taste then. But hey, wh while you're there in the studio today, it sounds like Darian's a little drunk this morning. You think she is? Have a good time and take advantage of her, all right? <laughs> Are you a little tipsy tonight? Darian? Hello? No, not at all. I'm just, I'm, okay. you know what, you know what, you know what it is. Is it the Olympics? No, it no, 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 no. David, are you doing chronic insomniac. I, like, I haven't slept for like five days. Yeah. Wow. Last night, yeah, I know, my doctor like hooked me up. Last night I slept like for like ten hours, so I'm like How was totally that? boring. Did you have dreams on top of dreams? I do. Oh, my God, I did. I do it. <laughs> That's a lot of sleep. Ten hours. It's a lot to process. Man. Yeah. Oh, so you must feel so good today, right? Kind of, but stupid, though. I feel Little, stupid. No, I no, I truly, I do feel stupid. Do you feel like just taking your shoes off and just running around? Kind of. Really? Yeah, we're not allowed to do that here, though. Shoes what? have to stay on at all times. <laughs> what happened to San Francisco? I, I, I don't know. Shoes have to stay on, but you can, uh, you can be hammered if Yo, you want. Yo, Darian. <laughs> Hi. Why are you talking shit about us? Because <laughs> you're being ridiculous. Why, why wouldn't I? What do you mean we're being ridiculous? You're just, you're just, you're just insulting people for no reason. You're just being mean. Uh huh. Uh, like who? Who are you talking uh, like, about? 
Oh, come on. Who, who have you insulted lately? You like who? Name one. <laughs> John Cook. John Cook's a fucking asshole. Next. <laughs> Okay. No. Well, you're entitled to yeah, you're entitled to your opinion. I did call you talented. I gave you credit. Darian, why did, why why were you making stuff up though? Like we never even met you, and you're talking I've about never, these. This is the first time we've ever talked to you. You know that, right? That's so not true, and you know that. No, no, I I no. I would swear on it. There is no. Mm-hmm. I, we've never spoken to you. I know you would. I know you would, but that's not true. When was the, when did we talk? When did we speak? Oh, come on now. When? Come when? We're now. calling you out. We're calling you out. I when, really want to know. Maybe, to maybe we have amnesia or, or something or Alzheimer's. Yeah, I, think, I think you do. I think you have selective. You have, much like me, you have selective. Uh, no, we're memory. not like you. We're Opie and Anthony. Damn. And you're some fucking has been that was never been. <laughs> when you're did, a never been. When did we meet you? Oh. Or when did we talk to you? Uh, New York. When? Right when? Now? Where do was remember, it? Do you remember? When? <laughs> Before you got fired the first time from CBS, do you remember that? Yeah, well, there was a long time before that. What happened? When? When? Where were we? Give us some what details. What did we talk of about? Us talking to the uh, great we were, Darian we were, we O'Toole. Were in New York. I don't. Yeah. Well, admittedly, I don't remember a lot of the details of New York. And we were in New York, and we were. Uh, oh, come on now. Here's no, come on now. See, you can't. Here's what the thing is, Darian. You can't come up with where and when we spoke because we never did. Correct. We were after the same. We were gossiping with the same dude on the hotline. We were on opposite. You were doing afternoons. I was doing mornings, which, by the way, I win. And you, you, Wait, you were, wh- wh- how do you win by doing mornings and us afternoons? Ten years later, we're loser? still in New York. <laughs> dude, you, 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 lasted, you didn't even last a year in New York. I don't even think you lasted four months. Oh, my God. You got fired two weeks after me. What are you talking about? What? Darren, you are fucked up, man. You are real. You have no concept of time or reality. Are you getting like help for your problems, or are you just going to keep babbling about nonsense? Are you really going to be on the View in December? Yeah. Are you just mad that I called you a dick? Is that like is that what your problem? You're not the first person that called me a dick. What I'm mad at is that you're uh, you're doing an article and making believe you know me personally. I've never fucking met you, and I never fucking talked to you. So don't like lump you lump yourself into uh, you know us. I don't want anything to do with you. You sound like a fucking stalker. I was oh in the trenches. God. I was in the trench, trenches with uh, with Danny and Ope. I never met you. Your show sucked. His show sucked. We had massive success in New York. <laughs> massive success. Massive success. <laughs> yeah, massive success. Mr. Man. Mr. Man. <laughs> Mr. Man. You ever listen to the tape of you with David Tell? Yeah, that was actually very funny. No, you did a good job with that. I'm no, no, I, that. but have you ever, like, listened to it alone or anything? Because, wow. What were you on that day? No, that was bad. No, that was bad. What, 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 what were you on? Were you what, just drinking? We I figured vodka in the Red Bull, right? No. Was... Uh, no, no. What, what no, was, it was it? much worse. No, it was like three days nonstop. It was bad. What, what was were, it, though? What were, you, were you drinking or doing or drugging a little? No, drinking. It yeah. was drinking. No, You're a no, liar. That was yeah, that was like, no, liar. Liar. <laughs> From the great Darian O'Toole, a never been in this business. Dot. The great Dot. And you're not going to be <laughs> on The View, so <laughs> shut the fuck dot? up. Yeah. What, what's she going to be on The View for, though? She's not <laughs> going to be on The View. Yeah, what, what are you going on The View for? And, and why did you tell E-Rock you were going to be on YSP? Oh, well, no, I'm not auditioning on YSP. I'm not, like, I don't have a... I, they said pull a shift, and I... It's not like a permanent Oh, you're such an asshole. You're such an asshole. And I'm just waking up. Oh, that's your excuse today? Oh, you're such a dick. You're such a dick. But it's okay. I don't care if you think I'm a dick, but don't act like you fucking know me, Anthony, the show. We have never fucking had any contact with you. So don't try to jump on our That's stupid. Uh, uh, you know this is the first time we've okay. ever spoken, Darian. That's bullshit. This first bullshit. time right. ever. Name when you can't name. That created, but you, that's not one of you them. can't name when or where we've spoken before. Um, New York ten years ago. D- D- Jesus. Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ! New York ten years ago. That could have been anybody in the world. You have to where say was when. it? Be specific. What was it? An event? 
What did we talk about? It, where was it? And what did we talk about? You said we were talking we on hotlines. Actually, we, we talked about Brenda being a pedophile, which is funny. <laughs> That wasn't 10 years ago, was it? First of all, it was... That yeah, was, was well, I'm sure it was probably 20 years ago, but we talked about it 10 years ago. Oh, God. No, we didn't. No, Where? we didn't. Why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? What, what's wrong with you? Because, Darren, you're, you're like lying in these, in these articles. Uh, um, you're in, like in this lying on the air. In and this I, interview. And I, we have every right to hate John, least, John Cook, I and, I, and I explained that to corporate and uh, to anyone that would listen. So we have every right so, to... Okay, why did, you, why did you get kicked out of Philly? Why did you get, get kicked out of Philly? Because they, they want to go local. And the, uh, and really? The rating, or was it because you were an asshole? Because you were insulting someone who was nice to you, who was backing a Brinks truck up to your um, mansion? Mansion. First of all... Is that the, the, could first that be, could that possibly first be of all, they have to continue well, paying us, and that's why we can't work down huge? there until uh, I think April. Why were you Why were you shitty to Danny Bonaducci? What are you talking about? Why were you shitty to him? You're shitty to him now. Shitty to him? No. Maybe. May, well, we had a, a we had a reason if he got on uh, right. the show and was was bashing yeah, us. It's like Darian's a bit obsessed with our ass? radio show, huh? If someone doesn't. No, no. Because let's just let's You're just a bit talk obsessed with our radio show, right? Because what? Cause, cause what? What? If someone, you're gonna edit this later, so let's just. Yeah, talk I know, it. Darian. Let's just say it, okay? It, if you, if someone doesn't kiss your ass, you screw them up. No, we don't talk yes. to anybody. My God, if <laughs> we don't even if talk we had to anybody. If we, we don't talk to I anybody in this listen. business. Ninety-nine hey. percent of the people on this planet hey, don't hey, kiss hey, our you ass. You know what, Darian? Hey. Listen, listen to me, you, you twat. One percent of the people. This on is what happened with Danny Bonaduce. What? Oh, just the math. This is this is what happened with Danny Bonaduce when we got in our latest trouble. We thought, we uh, thought. So you're, you're shut you're right, the right? fuck up. <laughs> we thought that he trashed us on uh, Fox, uh, I think it was Fox or something, about our situation. And then we listened back to the tape, and we actually admitted on the air that we were wrong with what uh, happened that day with him on TV talking about us. Okay. Really? And John, right. And the reason I don't like John Cook is I don't respect the guy that uh, refused to communicate with us after he said that we were going to be the future of YSP and, and be doing their morning show. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. That's I mean, not exactly you're what in with the CBA. That's, that's not even. The you're thing. in with that's CBS execs, and you say how CBS hates happened. us, and also why don't you ask him? Because why don't you go call up Chris Olivero? He knows exactly what happened. For whatever reason, yeah, John Cook that. decided to stop communicating with us because oh, they were going to go in another you're direction, gonna... and he didn't have the okay. balls to tell me to my face or call us on the phone. That's exactly that's... what happened, and that's why I have a problem with the guy. You think Chris okay? Didn't know about that? You think Chris didn't know about that? What are you stupid? Come on, you're smarter than that. Why am I arguing with the fucking lunatic? Did you just because hear what I did said? Did you just did hear? You did you did just, you just hear, hear what I said? Same reason I am. Go ahead, did you boys. just hear what he said? I don't understand uh, why you're not, uh, you know, doing a radio show with this with this quickness you got. <laughs> you're a mess. Go get fucking help. <laughs> she is nuts. Mm, She's been there, done that. She's nuts. Nah, I think it. Wow. That's not gonna help. I think there's a, a substance. It sounds oh, to me like there's. Do? It sounds to me. Yeah, we don't knowing know. people. That have been through this before, that there's some kind of substance problem. Really? Yeah. Is that, what, is that what, okay? Give me your give me your diagnosis. Tell I don't need a diagnosis. I, I've been through life and I've known people that have had a substance abuse problems, and they sound a lot like you're sounding. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's and, all I'm saying. It, it sounds that way. And you say CBS uh, executives hate us. Uh, name, and, and, name your you know, source. Name your source. Name your source. And who have opinions that are name your source coming from their ass. And yeah. it sounds to me like you're suffering from that. Okay. What does that mean? Delusions of grandeur. Just, uh, you know? Yeah. It's, delusions it's, of grandeur. Look who's me. talking. Look in it's, the mirror. Yes. Look who's talking. to Delusions of grandeur. You're fucking doing these interviews, uh, and you, you're, <laughs> you're saying you're going to be on the View. You're doing interviews, and you don't even have a fucking radio show. How about we do a little thousand dollar bet? Uh, you appear you, on the View December fourth. I will hand over a thousand dollars. Oh, if you're on the View, yeah. How about that? That's a good one. Yeah, but does the about, audience count? You make it two. Make make it five. Make does, it five. Does Come the on, audience count? My while. Darren, you know how stupid you're going to look when December comes. Uh, December fourth go, comes go comes and goes, and you're not on the View. Yes. Yes. Stop. Stop this. Five thousand. Five thousand. What are you? What are you doing, Terry? And, and don't talk like you know us, because you don't. I don't want to be associated with a loser. 
Um, well, it's too late because you met yourself. You lie! Yeah. You're a fucking liar! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Is she on the radio now? I love, no. I love Google, bitch. I love you, Rock, doing that. Uh, you are? <laughs> yeah. What, whatever. <laughs> so she's not on the radio now? No, right. now, now you can say that we've spoken. See? Oh, now you can great. actually you're say such that. You're an asshole. You're such an asshole. Because before yeah, we've this... Never, we've, never, we've never shared secrets. We've never talked about Mark Parento. That never happened. No, it, it didn't. It. We never spoke. Yeah, but if she could just say where and when, she can't because it never happened. Are you gonna take our bet or not? Uh, you could get, you could buy a lot of stuff if you know what I mean for a thousand dollars. Thousand bucks, Darian. What do you, you say? Buy, you can buy a lot of booze. Is that what you're trying to say? No, whatever. <laughs> whatever you want to buy. You're such an asshole. I, it's okay. Do it. Do what you need to do. Go ahead. Thousand bucks. That you will not be on no, the view. No, come on. Up the ante. 5,000. No, no, just in case you get bumped. We don't want to, you know, take advantage. <laughs> because weren't you supposed to be on last week? Yeah. You said you were going to be on last week. You know, when they were on vacation, you dummy. <laughs> was she not supposed to be on last week? <laughs> You're such an asshole. Did you write E-Rock and say you were going to be on the view? Last week. Oh, my God. And why did you get bumped? What, yeah, what's the official? The last, I didn't hear the last. What happened? It is, it is eight o'clock in the morning in California. You, you understand that? You do no, understand that. no concept I... of time. <laughs> oh God! Did you? It's eight twenty-one in California. Did you get bumped from the view? No, I didn't get bumped. It, it was just it, it was nebulous. Nebulous. Can, I can I can wait while you look that up. It was nebulous. Oh, you just said oh, that. I, oh, you yeah. just said Stop. that so you you think you're smarter than us. Yeah. Shut up with your nebulous. I'm smarter than you. You I'm, are. Anthony you know Lowe a couple words. You. It's not. You no know words. Not, it's not like it's, it's showing up at the parade being smarter than you. you Knowing a word doesn't make you smart. You dumb. Are smarter what? than you. Hey Darren, are you kind of jealous of our success? Is this what? This is all no, about. I'm actually, I'm, I, it, as it, I said, I think you're this, a huge talent, and I think you're one of the funniest and smartest people in the business. You're jealous, though, right? But, but you're, you're jealous. Asshole. You can be a dick. And you're jealous, and right? You're being a dick. You're jealous. Do you know me as a person? You're pissed that I called you a dick, and that's okay. That's fine. No, see, you don't know me. Do you know me as a person? Do you really think no, I give a shit what know. people Anthony, think of my, you at all. Anthony, my persona on the met. radio? I've never met Anthony. That's true. Oh, wow. Okay, now oh, okay. she's fessing up. All right. Where did you meet? All right. Let's play this Never out. met me. Where did we meet? No, Anthony, I've never. No, I don't know you. I all don't know right. you. I respect you, but I, I think all you're right. funnier all than All right. Him. Now let's go with Opie. Where did you meet Opie? Oh, my God. In, I don't know exactly where. I don't freaking remember. <laughs> New York. <laughs> singing his sentences. We he just come out with it. Planet Earth in the 20th century. <laughs> yeah, you're such a dick. You're just such a dick. You just, it, like, what, what? What did they do? What? Tell me why you're insulting the company that pays you. <laughs> tell me. Wait, we're just doing one of those Gary and O'Toole long drunk breaks. No, no, it was my, it was my one of those long you, drunk I you, pauses. I thought, you, I thought you, no, I thought you dumped on me. It was my Why? You dumped on me. Dramatic pauses. Why? Because a, it's fun. B, they don't know what they're. B, they don't know what they're doing. And C, maybe we'll knock some sense into their okay, brains. Okay, uh, look, I'm with you. And on D, that. I got F you money, and I don't need this shit anymore. You never, you, you never need any more fucking answers. You never had an honest. Uh, uh, you never uh, put out like an honest no, appraisal okay. of your boss on the even air. In your, even when you were, even when you were absolutely ridiculing me, which I deserved. Hey, and I own that. I don't even. We did. You know what? A listener had to remind you us that we ridiculed you, you when we were replaying the tape today. We fucking forgot. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't forget anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Great, we got a stalker. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm your. That's that's me. I'm an open Anthony stalker. You yeah, know a lot me. about us, and we don't know shit about you. Really? I, this is what I know about you. I didn't even know you were on in San Francisco until we got the tape. I did oh, know that you came oh, to New York. Bullshit. And oh, come on. I did oh, know that on. you uh, came to New York and you were billed oh, as the are, female oh, Howard Stern. You're gonna, you're I do know that you explode. failed fucking miserably. I do know that that Clear Channel went, oh, fuck, we're in deep trouble. And they hired a million fucking people behind the scenes to try to, to save your ass. And they couldn't do it. You lasted, I, I honestly think you lasted less than four months in New York. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And you, oh, and you did, and you did <laughs> nothing with your career a after that. Oh God! What else nothing. do you need to I did know? Nothing. I did nothing with my career. Nothing. What's that, Dan? 
What's okay. up? What's up, Dad? No, well, that's just very on, sad. Maybe next I'll, I'll sh- go just to Letterman. On battle. the Friends section of the website, there's a, a wow sticker, and then uh, she's photoshopped herself into the ONA <laughs> press photo instead of Jim Norton's head. See? Wait, wait, wait. wait. See, she's, oh, my God, that's she's funny. She's fucking insane. You did that. I didn't even do that. She's Who insane. You're insane. E Rock did that. There's nothing to do with that. You're not get. You, you don't fucking don't fuck with E Rock. He takes oh, a lot of abuse, but he, okay, he's not going to take. His phone number on the air. He's not going to put his number on the he, air. He's not going to take you being lied to. He did. E Rock did not Photoshop your stupid fucking head in with our with our. Uh, you're faces. just. You're just. Why, why are you so angry? You're you should have worked on the tint on that. Happy? The black and white picture of you isn't green enough. I'm extremely happy. I'm not <laughs> happy with people tent. that act like they know me and, and write, uh, you know, fucking shit in uh, articles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, who's your source uh, source at CBS? You say the executives hate us. Go ahead. I didn't say anything about I, I'm it's not in the who, fucking I article. I don't, I don't hate CBS like you do. We don't hate CBS, you dummy. Well, you diss them every day. No, we don't. Yeah, you do. Uh, no, we don't. We have talked did about not, certain did you not people. Call John a wussy? Did that you not wh- call John a wussy? Yeah. We've, we've talked about certain Sorry. people that work for CBS. That isn't saying uh, the entire entity that is CBS. What are you talking about? Every day. Every uh, not First of all, not every day. Secondly, we uh, really don't have don't any problem with anybody that we're working with at CBS right now. So we had problems with certain people at certain stations. We voiced really? those you're opinions. Not, you're not at all pissed that you're not in Philly anymore. We vo- we'd love to be in Philly. What, we're going to lie and not be honest? Um, oh, no, fuck Philly. It was a great market for us, but, you know, fuck it. Yeah, we, we're glad we're off there. No, we would love to be in Philly. Well, we can be honest, Darian. See? Of course you would. But well, of no, course we would. Honest. You're not being honest. You're not being Guess honest. Guess what? Well, I'm not being honest. Okay, let me be honest then. No, we don't want to be in Philly. What do you want me to All say? Right, so you're honest there. Jesus Christ, are you fucking hard to talk to? You know what I want you to say? You know what I want you to say? I what? want you to say, I'm sucking at the moment. Uh, nope. Sucking yeah, at the moment? So pl- oh, my God. Make it up Wednesday? You think that's funny? That's not you. That's not funny. Make it up Make Wednesday. it up Wednesday. What? First of all, it's uh, first of all we do it on Tuesday. Well, yeah, it's yourself. Tuesday. And secondly, uh, do you understand something called irony? And do you also uh, understand and the, sarcasm? Oh, please. Do you understand that the, the marketing please. that has been uh, accomplished by doing that bit? Do you understand the amount of people checking out Opie and Anthony because of the sh- the the, yeah, the bit? That they're, that they're do you understand we were we're on the front page of the fucking Boston papers by doing this dumb <laughs> bit? You fucking being, jerk. Oh. Why don't you just call her radio show? And uh, and as far as sucking, the problem we're having, which we openly admitted in our uh, FMQB article recently, is the fact that XM is hurting us in a lot of markets, and it's tough to compete against yourself. Do you understand that we oh, compete against so Opie and Anthony on XM yeah, when we're on regular yeah, radio? Yeah. <laughs> And by the way, that and, nervous don't drag, little titter that she does and, all and the don't time. Don't drag E-Rock into this. He's not your webmaster. The fucking try uh, dragging E-Rock. The, fo- the photo. <laughs> Jesus. He's your Google bitch. I know. Your, your head photoshopped into our publicity photos on your website. You you liar. Pink pants on fire. Just keep going. Just keep going. God, I'm, I'm, when, I'm, when are we going to hear you on the radio like next? There? Yeah. When, when's your next gig on the radio? When's your next radio show? Come on. Oh, you're such an asshole. When is it? <laughs> Well, actually, my next gig is a TV gig. When's your next TV gig? Right? When's your, when's the next TV gig? Yeah, when's when, your next TV gig, Obi? No, when it, when is yours? Where is it? December 5th. Don't say TV? The View. Oh, stop it. You're not going to be on The View. What are you doing on The it. View, though? Maybe she is. What are you going to do she on The View? She was supposed to be on a week and a half ago. For what? And she won't tell us why she wasn't on a week and a half ago. No, but ago. what is she going to be on for? You can't... I wasn't on a week and a half ago. Because they were on my fat? Oh, my God. You're such. You're going to feel like it's such an asshole. You're going to just... You're going to... But what are you hey, going t- on you for? You know what? Touche to you. Yeah, what view. are you going on for? You can't Darian, just go on The they View. Do, they do pre-interviews. What, what, will they, what will they ask you about? She's going to... Basically, there's a lot of fill-in hosts for uh, that uh, Survivor... Whatever, Elizabeth. Yeah. yeah. I miss that. Okay, my phone sucks, so I miss that. So what? That to me. Well, I'm asking you, what are you going to be on for? Yeah. What are they going to interview you about? Are you going to be a host? Oh, no, they're not interviewing me. I'm filling in. You're going to be filling in for who? For the I don't know the Republican blonde chick. I don't watch the show. You don't watch the show. So what did no, they I did don't. they did they just get in touch with you and say we want you on the show? Mm-hmm. Really? Well, not with me, but yeah, but wait, wait, me. you yeah. you called them. Who no. called who? 
<laughs> no, someone who used to listen to me in New York mm-hmm. when I was doing mornings, when you were doing afternoons. Do you remember that? When you were doing, you know, for less money. What um, is it? Uh, 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 let, uh, let me tell you something, Darren. Darren. Darren, let me, let me explain Apple? something. Darian. No matter what you say, we were probably making a fuckload more than you were in afternoons than you were in mornings. And oh, we stayed there a lot longer than you did. Right. For Believe me. And syndicated the show in afternoons to over 30 radio stations. Okay. Mm-hmm. What do you wow. think? What do you... Yeah. yeah what revisionist do you th- history. Nice. Re- yeah, talk about revisionist history. First, be able to say revisionist. You should be able to say it without <laughs> slurring your words. Yes, yeah, smarty pants. Like you said, it's pretty early in the fucking morning to be, uh, you know. You're such an asshole. Why are you... T- Okay. You drink a cup of coffee first, <laughs> Darian? What do you do? This is the typical Do you, do you at least have a fucking though. cup of coffee oh, oh first? My God, she keeps so trashing you, and then when you say something back, she calls you an asshole. Yeah. It's like she keeps yeah. trashing you with the passive-aggressive who little... Who is that? Who is, who is, that who is, is Robert that? Kelly. He's a comedian. Oh. Bob Kelly. He's filling in for Jimmy Norton. So, But I don't oh. understand why you keep trashing Fill them. Hole. And keep trashing them, and then when they trash you back, all of a sudden they're assholes. Uh, all of a sudden, they're assholes. It was a natural progression. Mm. Yeah, we didn't put up with shit in this business, so what's the big deal? I don't give a shit. You don't have a gig. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fun. Yeah, and you t- and and you guys do. You don't have a gig, you. and I openly laugh at that. Yes, that means I'm a dick. I think it's hilarious that you fucking went nowhere with your career. I think it's fucking hilarious. Okay. How you burned out and before you even made anything of yourself. Uh, yeah. Doing morning yeah, radio in New York for less than that. four months. What, how much time did you do? I want to be uh, hey. accurate. Yeah, here. how long were you in New York? How long? Uh, you're like a year and something. No! Like year and some did it last a year, Iraq? I really don't know. I, you know I'm not going to believe her shit. Interview. See, the interview you're talking about, if people read it, go to www.allaccess.com and read it. Because uh, that's I a pretty impressive great. fucking uh, publication, man. Wow, congratulations. And what fucking... <laughs> and you said you were on the cover of a magazine when you came uh, to New York. What was the cover? Yeah, yeah, I was on Diddy's magazine, Notorious. You were on whose? Diddy. Maybe you've heard of him, Sean Combs. Oh, there's that passive aggressive oh, horse shit again. You were like, uh, how many people read Notorious? Oh, it will. <laughs> well, you know, you have to be able to read. Uh, I, yeah, I, I get it. Oh, yeah, well, that's right. We, we don't read. Yeah, we're stupid. Yeah, yeah we no. get that one. I got. I know. That, you, I, I don't understand why a radio company won't pick you up with this great fucking banter. A lot of people are bringing up the fact that there was a discrepancy. Uh, December fourth or fifth? What day are you going to be on the View? Yeah. I don't know. It's, it, it's the, I don't know yet. How do you not know? If you're not fucking doing anything, you're sitting around with no job, and then they, you're offered yeah, the view for doing. you're that's offered the doing. view for a on. day. Wouldn't you know what fucking day it was? Wouldn't you know what day you're got to be on the view? Darian, you're lying again. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mrs. No. Woman. No, I'm just Mr. Gonna Man. Like I'm just going to let you look like the asshole you're being. Okay. Oh, wow. Boy, do you got that wrong. We'll James sure Clemson, like Ohio. Assholes. She was on the cover of Dumb Cunt Magazine. <laughs> that, wow. How do, you spe- how do you spell you're, that? You're so classy. Hey, I love mm. the fact that I don't have to be classy. <laughs> Uh, well, good luck to you, so whatever you do what's next. The, uh, what's the wacky stunt of the day, boys? Wacky Talk, stunt? He's talking to a dumb mm. cunt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The wacky stunt is trying to get through a conversation with somebody. Cunt, it's, it's called Dumb Cunt Monday. Guess who the guest is? <laughs> it's our new feature. Yeah. New feature. And welcome. As the yeah. inaugural cunt. <laughs> it's actually, uh, today's uh, bit is called Radio Has Been Monday. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, think, stay tuned next week as we have the Grease Man on. That's right. Do you and the Grease Man talk about the glory days that lasted ten minutes? Wolfman, bring him back from the dead. Have a seance. Go ahead. Wow. Wow. You know, this is the type of cutting cutting edge radio uh, we could expect. You at your best. Please, uh, Darian O'Toole. Please stop being obsessed with uh, our radio show, and for some reason, me in general, get lost, you twat. (laughs) Go back to the fucking radio graveyard. 
Okay. You couldn't I, handle I, the stress I, and the pressure of doing morning radio in New York, and it fucked you up, obviously. You haven't recovered since. Ah, uh, but I did. And you're not going to be on the fucking view, okay? Oh, really? And if you are, please be hammered. And uh, the official... That would be hysterical. How is this, Bob? Bob, is you guys the Tom Cruise? Just... And just to keep it fair, you were on Q104. You were on uh, Q104 for 10 months. 10 months. <laughs> How did you get that? Google bitch. What? Yeah, how about yeah? <laughs> What's wrong with Google? <laughs> A couple of people use it, I hear. <laughs> Damien, what's wrong with you? I'm just enjoying it. I think that you're in your you're in your prime. That's fine. If you want to be in the a hole, then do it. You know, you're gonna edit this right here. Edit it. I am in my matter. prom. Yeah, we're gonna edit, edit this. It like you did, and I, edit I gave it. you credit. I gave you credit. What? At least. Do you understand you know how this I works? Do you understand <laughs> your when, you do understand you're live right now, yeah. right? Darian. Right. Do you know you're live right now? How are we gonna edit this if you're live, you dummy? Yeah. Because you're saying fucking, so you're obviously on XM. Yeah, but it's not the reality. So it's not Whoa! Let me explain something. Okay. This dumb cunt <laughs> thinks that this was so great. We're gonna bring it over to our regular show. <laughs> You're fucking filler, you twat. <laughs> You're what we call phoning it in. You're filler. I wouldn't fucking bring a piece of this over to the uh, over to the regular side. Are you fucking mm -hmm. kidding me, you delusional bitch? Well, you know what? You delusional asshole. Let ooh, me tell you something. Ooh, how do you spell that? Do you want to hear it? Do you want to hear it? Do you want to know? What? You've been called um, barely mediocre. Used to be talented. Mm -hmm. Used to be funny. Is she talking about me or by, you guys? By who? Uh, Opie. I don't, Anthony, I've never met you. I don't no, know. No, no, by who? Who is Holy oh, shit, you never met me. Oh, my God. Too. Who called us? He's lying out of his ass. Who called us that? Who called, who, yeah, who and called us you that? You know what? Opie, who? I respect that. Oh, she's I not even going to answer. Who called us that? If this was an Olympic sport, I would have brought home the gold. Okay? You want me live? You want to know the truth? I don't know. Something if, about, if you about her. You were telling the truth. You would people what happened in New York with Mark Parento and how our friendship came to be. Friendship? Now it's not even just meeting. It's a friendship. No joke. I got to get a restraining order. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> You're crazy. You, know you can't. Uh, and, yeah, and, eighteen shades of crazy. I admit that. Oh, she used that. You used that. What is that? December fifth. All right, December fifth. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, hold on. You defer to like. Hey, 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 hey. Humor. Hey, Darian, hold on. I'm looking at December fifth right here, and and the news <laughs> says that the View will be co-hosted by uh, Obama's wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Don't laugh. It says Michelle you're Obama, shit up. <laughs> wife you're of presidential shit up. candidate Barack Obama, will be guest host on the television talk show The View next month. Yeah, Bar yeah Barack's gonna. Yeah, Barack's gonna be on The View. No, his wife I, I, Michelle. I, I, Oh my Obama God. is going to co-host The View. It's from that what? shitty CNN website. Yeah, you know that one. You can't rely on <laughs> CNN. You're you're fucking lying. <laughs> Darian, you're not going to be on the fucking view. Say it. I kind of feel sorry for just you. Just say it. I don't. No, it's really it's funny. True. I love watching someone just fucking fall apart like this. Oh, you're, yeah, I'm falling apart. You're, you've I'm, fallen yeah, apart. Like, yeah. You're I'm a delusional You're a delusional woman who really uh, uh, kind of lost touch with reality, it seems, a while ago, and, and you never kind of came back. A while ago? When was I ever in reality? Go back to Canada. And recoup with your parents again. Hey, my mother, now that's just nasty. It is that's nasty, but it's the truth. What happened it's the parents. truth. You got, you got it. You maybe should relax a little more. You're fucking like, Darian. You're, you're out of control. You're just spreading like you're a compulsive liar because you're making shit up. You, you hmm. sound like I said. I don't know you personally, but you sound like you somebody who has no. Yet somehow you have my personal phone number at 8 in the morning. I don't. E-Rock had it. Yeah, okay. Holy mother of God. Who's that? Oh. Elo? There's someone, there's someone like... Offer you a job? Like it's their, like it's their job. I'm sure, yeah. You're like a... Hello? A crazy woman. I'm still here. No, I'm talking to somebody. Yeah, we, we know you're still here. Yeah, right, you're not talking to somebody. She's a compulsive liar? Yeah. Uh-huh. Who's oh who's that? Some of that knows her. Yeah. 
So, so you're going to co-host The View. So you've spoken uh-huh. to Barbara Walters? Anything else? Do you want to get anything else? Off you've the spoken show? to Barbara Walters no. about this co-hosting gig? <laughs> no, I have not. Oh, I have well. never spoken to Barbara Walters. Who are you going to be on The View when um, they're saying that it's Obama's wife? Uh, you Dece- listen, December yeah, 5th. Please. Answer? Uh, question. I didn't hear it. Didn't are you going to be? Question. Are you going to be on the View? All I heard was about Barbara Walters. No, I've never. Uh, are you going to be on the View when it says that Obama's wife Michelle is going to be on the View? I have no idea. Now you have no idea. You said before it was uh, guaranteed. Well, you would rent it about no five thousand dollars. No, I, I don't know if Obama's. I don't know who's get, who the guest is. You no, she's guest hosting. <laughs> silly, you're silly goose. Did, you were ready to bet five thousand dollars. Now you're not sure. When you're ninety, okay. Yeah. Okay. She's not. You done? Are we like what else? Is there anything else? I don't know. Anything else that upsets you? Are you are you you know? Not upset. Any other quandaries? Not upset. We do have to go though. You are. You're pissed that I called Dick. It's that simple. Oh Just my God. It. Okay, the okay. day. Admit uh, it. Admit the it. day I would I get pissed that uh, anybody called me a dick, I'd be pissed 24 hours a day. Oh, I'm running out of show. Listen I'm not. The, who would care about being called a dick? I don't give a shit that you call me a dick. I give a shit that you're acting like you know us. We've been in the trenches oh, yeah, okay. together. That we right. met. So that we, we talked. We I don't well, know I you. I don't like people. I don't like people talking about me and making believe they know me when they have never met me. That's that's what I'm pissed played, at. You, 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 you silly asshole. Hey, goodbye. Someone Talk. called me a dick on Pal Talk. <laughs> Why you? Goodbye, Darren. Hi, Otta. Mr. Man. Oh. So tell us about Tom Cruise. <laughs> in your inimitable Red Bull style. <laughs> Congratulations, you finally got to talk to an audience oh. on, hey. on the radio. You, you made That's the big time. Like 15 minutes. This is it. That's mm, it. Okay. Goodbye. We'll edit it down to zero so we can replay it. Line of the day was brought to you by BodogFantasy.net. And it was Darian O'Toole. Free life scoring stats, bios, and news that will help you win big this season and fantasy football all at BodogFantasy.net. Yes, E-Rock? No, it's the same one. Oh, okay. RobertKellyLive.com. Robert Kelly Live on MySpace, too. Yeah, hit me up. I got dates. I'm at the Laughing House in Michigan. It's a, very, it's a very important point. I don't give a shit she calls me a dick I give a shit that she acts like she knows me that's for some reason that really bothers me when people do that shit she's nuts alright that's what really bothers me cause I don't need fucking people going whoa is he really pissed that she called him a dick no I'm pissed that she acted like she knows us and we've been in the trenches together and all this bullshit yeah you know, trenches With she was in 10 months and she was there before we ever uh, even got to New York so I think the Carryover time was probably three months that we were both on the air.